Chef Shea Bear here. Today we're going to be using the new wok. I have used it a couple times, trying it out, doing a little practicing. I'm going to make a real simple recipe here that you can also put on skewers and make kebabs if you want. Um, like I said, it's real simple. So let's get this heated up. Let's start making some stir fry. Okay guys, to start with, here's some of the ingredients we're going to be using. First of all, we've got our meat here, and let me get you. This is this is a roast. I cut it up. You can you can use beef tips. We've done that before. They turn out fine. But I took a whole roast. Was going I was going to make a roast, and then I thought, well, hey monk, how about I do some stir fry? Well, she argued for a minute and then agreed. No, actually, she jumped for joy. And this is the fat that I cut off of the, the, the roast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that to put in the pan once the pan gets hot. And then we're, uh, we have onions and we have a, what pepper is that, hon? What pepper? Jalapeno. This is a jalapeno pepper, just one jalapeno pepper. I've got garlic minced up in here. I've got an orange uh, bell pepper and a red bell pepper here. Um, this is, um, what's this stuff called? Um, Argo, cornstarch. This is some cornstarch. It's about, it's about three tablespoons. May not use all of it. What I'm gonna do is mix that up in there. Here, I have um, beef bouillon cube. I put four in there and I crush it up with a mortar and pastel. We also have our soy sauce. This is Kikamon. Uh, you can use bok choy, whatever, whatever your, your taste is. Uh, we have some regular oil here. This is just uh, a cheap, <coughs> just a cheap vegetable oil. Um, you can use. Uh, you can use a uh, cornola. You can use olive oil. <laughs> but olive oil is uh yeah I had to cut there because I forgot what I was talking about olive oil is mostly for low to medium heat if you use high heat like we're going to be using here um, it breaks down it's got a lower smoking point of I don't know 365 to 450 degrees it's gonna start smoking that's not good for you, it's not good for your food. So I'm going with the high t higher temperature oil here. Now it does have a good fla flavor if you're just simmering something on, you know, or putting it in a salad or whatever. But to, for high heat, I use like to use regular oil. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I got my tongs here. I got, uh, I got this thing for my, um, for my wok. <coughs> so I'm gonna get you set up and um, like I said, we're going to start, we're going to put this in there, we're going to move it around a little bit because I'm not going to put any oil in it yet. And we're going to start with our onions. We're not going to brown them all the way because they're going to cook some more a little bit later on. You'll see when we add everything together. These are going to put, be put in last, okay? And these are going to be put in second to last. Um, I'll heat these up. But, well, actually not. I'll, when these are just about where I want them to be, like I said, I don't want these to be browned and caramelized yet. So I'll put these in when I'm ready to take these out. We'll take these out, then we'll put the meat in. Okay, so let me get you set up so you can see what's going on over here. Okay, so my walk is hot. Uh, I know it's Tuesday, but I was talking to Monkey. She thought it was a pretty good idea. Maybe once a week, every Wednesday, we'll do a walk Wednesday or a walk of life Wednesday or something. So we're just going to slap that in there and we're going to move it around. There we go. And this is just kind of going to help season the pan a little bit for a little extra flavor because I never throw this away, this fat. I use it in other things. So I'm on about, well I thought I was, I was a little higher than medium, but I'm going to want to go on about a medium 
Now we're gonna take some, we're gonna take a little bit of water. Just gonna pour a little bit of water in there. That'll help get some of that, some of that stuff off the bottom there. Okay, so there's that. Okay. And then I'm getting ready. I'm going to take this out. It only takes a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and take this out. I'm going to put it on a plate. And uh, then I'll use it also. I will cook this up and maybe cut some of it up for little Bruno over there. Okay, now, turn it down a little bit more. Now we're going to put our onions in. This is one large onion. Also, this, this, you don't have to follow this recipe to a T. You can, you can substitute, add, subtract like the uh, bouillon cube. You don't have to add it if you don't want. But if you'd like some, but you don't like a lot of it, I just do it for extra flavor. Just use one or half of one, whatever. Um, or don't use any at all if you don't want. So, now I'm gonna, whoops. I'm gonna stir this up a little bit. I will turn the heat back up a little bit now. <laughs> Excuse me. Now I'm gonna pour some of this in here. There we go. Get that sizzling going. Whoa. Maybe give it just a little bit more around the sides here. And that way it kinda kinda rolls rolls down the sides and in into the bottom there. Keeps it from sticking. Now this doesn't take long, you want to go about three to four minutes on these so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go about I'm going to go about three minutes and then I'm going to put my uh, garlic in and you can use garlic powder whatever and then I'm going to put my um, oh what do you call it my pepper in so hang tight guys and I'll be right back with you okay now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of scoot this up here on the sides been about oh, about two minutes. I'm gonna scoop that up here on the sides. I turn my temperature up a little bit. Then we're gonna put our. Uh, this is about. It would be about three large cloves. Again, it doesn't have to be that many. Um, I've actually got about five or six in here, but they were small. But it would equal equal out to about three large cloves. You like a lot of garlic? It's good for your heart. Now we're going to put this in here. Now I'm going to put the uh, jalapeno pepper in here. Like I said, it's just one. Um, this recipe here would be better with chilies, but for some reason we're having a really big problem getting chili peppers here lately. I don't know why. Now I'm just going to put this on top. I'll give it a minute or two. Also, you can add a little bit of pepper. This is just black pepper. Yeah, a touch of salt. You don't need a lot of salt if you're using boiling cubes. Okay, so there we go. All right, just till they start to just to, just starting to to um, just to. Just till they're starting to get soft. For some reason, I didn't feel comfortable using that terminology, but hey, you know. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do, the monkey's over on the couch playing a game, laughing at me. I'm just going to take a pinch of this, the uh, bouillon cube, and uh, I've used chicken with this beef, and it was pretty good, wasn't it, huh? Yeah. Chicken bouillon cube kind of gives it a, a different kick and you go wow what's that flavor yeah yeah it turned out really nice 
just a little, let's go about a teaspoon of water in there just to keep it moist. Um, gas ranges are a lot better for cooking and the electric ovens are better for baking. Um, I don't know why I even told you that, but that's... <laughs> Ask any chef, they'll tell you. <laughs> because, um, you know, this goes off and it shuts, actually shuts clear off and then comes back on, shuts clear off and comes back on. To where, if you got flames, you can keep it at a, at a constant temperature all the time. Now, when it comes to an oven, you want electric because it will, once it shuts off, and then when it needs to get back up to temperature, it kind of kicks on evenly, or, you know, to where if it's gas, the flames are boom, all of a sudden. So, it's not as uh, precise of a temperature. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, it's probably just about done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring you over here, and uh, Monkey ordered me a chef hat, then you might for Valentine's Day. We're going to put about half of this in right now. Should be about, yeah, that should be plenty. Um, I don't know, this would probably be, oh, about, I'm guessing about two pounds. Okay, so we're just going to mix this up. I know a lot of people that cook out there will say, you need to use gloves when you're touching meat. Well, to me, that's, you know, up to the person. You know what I mean? And this stuff will almost disappear, okay? So that's about right. So I'm going to call that about, I'll, I'll tell you about two tablespoons. Again, more or less, none. It doesn't matter. It's up to you. But this really, really gives it a nice flavor and makes a nice uh, uh, gravy. Okay, so now I'm going to rinse my hands off. And I'll be back with you. Now what you can do is you can actually leave your um, uh, onions in there and just move them up here on the side and then put your meat in and then once your meat starts cooking nice after about you know 30 seconds you stir them up about 30 more seconds and then you can put your onions over top of them and let it cook for a couple minutes However you like your meat. Okay, so this is this looks like it's getting pretty pretty good now. Now I'm gonna just dump this in. Be careful see it, so it doesn't splatter you. And all I did was cube this up. Um, you can put these on wraps, right mama? Yeah. Huh? They're good on wraps. They are good on wraps. I just cubed them up. You can make them in strips. That even be better for the wraps because then they're not falling out. Right. You cut them into strips and put them in your wraps. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna push down on this real hard. I'm gonna give it about 30 seconds. Um, my walk got a little cold. We had a visitor at the door, so that's what all that commotion was about. Okay, so I'm going to let this get warmed up again, and then I'll turn you back on when we flip this over. So I forgot to tell you, right now I already did, but you can add a little bit more of your soy sauce if you want. And you, can make a, you, you can make a sauce, a dipping sauce, so I'll have to show you that uh, at another time. But now I also add some more of my um, bouillon cubes, my crushed bouillon cubes. We're just going to want it just to start getting brown on the bottom, and then we'll kind of flip it. There we go. We'll just kind of flip them over. It doesn't have to be perfect. But try to get most of the red part facing down now. There we go. Kind of flatten it out. Also, if you want, you can take your tongs, 
flip them over, do each and every one if you'd like. Remember, if a recipe does not turn out like the recipe says, but it tastes fine to you, it's not a fail. You did just fine. Because your recipe should be how you like it, you know? And if you're guests, if you have guests, of course, you're going to want them to, to like it. But, um, yeah, if everybody likes it, it's fine. You didn't fail. Right, Mama? Yeah. But my, my older brother, he was actually a chef. That was his... He started out as a dishwasher in a Holiday Inn restaurant when he was like, I don't know, 16, 17. And that's what he did all his life was just cooked. And he was kind of forced into retirement at the same time I was, and unfortunately. So, all right. Now, I'm gonna go ahead, let this cook for just a little bit longer. I'm gonna give it two more minutes here, okay? Then we're going to put our onions back in and we're going to put um, our bell peppers in. Um, remember, if you get bell peppers too hot, they, they don't hold their color and you don't want them, you know, super chewy. You know what I mean? You kind of want a little bit of crunch to them. So I'm going to add some more of this. There we go. Not that much left. There's about one left here I'll put in at the end. So, let's let this cook for another, I'm going to give it two minutes. Okay, it's actually been about three minutes. Something like that. I'm going to go ahead and give this a quick stir. I can't do, do this anymore, but because of my arm. But I used to could. <laughs> But it's okay. Just, right. They say don't do that on these glass tops, but they're made to cook, right, Mama? Okay, so now what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and put these back in for a minute. All right, now we're going to add our uh, orange pepper and our red bell peppers. All right, we're just gonna we're gonna let that cook for a minute or so, just till those get hot. Then we'll mix them up, put them back in the bowl, and I'll show you. If we're gonna make a little gravy. Okay, let's go ahead and mix this up. Don't worry about the stuff. If it starts sticking on bottom, that'll come off once we make the gravy, which we're going to here in just a minute. Let's get this mixed up real well. And the gravy, once you make the gravy, you can pour it on immediately. You can put it in a separate container and, you know, pour as little or as much as you want. Like if you're having guests. Okay, so this is looking pretty good now. So what we're going to do, when we use a spoon, I'm going to take take this stuff out and I'm going to put it back in the bowl and this this makes a nice hearty healthy meal you can also just leave it up on the sides if you want I just like to remove it I can put it back in. Like I said, don't worry about the stuff sticking on bottom because we're going to take care of that here in a minute. I'm going to turn this down for a minute. Okay, now we're going to take a little bit of water. Uh, you can also use flour instead of corn cornstarch. I got about not that much water. We're going to add some more of this. Soy sauce, we'll call it, let's say, four tablespoons. And the rest of our uh, bouillon cube, we're going to add 
some of this in here the rest of it actually which was probably about a tablespoon maybe um, so let me see what do I want to do here I want to start up real well let me get some more water Stir it up and it should thicken up. If it doesn't go as thick as you want it, again, you can make it as thin as you want it too. If it doesn't go as thick as you want it, you can always add more of your uh, cornstarch or flour or whatever you're using, where you can combine the two. Okay, so there is our gravy. Nice and Nice and hearty gravy. Nice and thick. Thick gravy there. Okay, so now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and dump this all back in here. Give it a give it a little mix. Get that gravy all coated on everything. I already turned the fire off. Like I said, I didn't give you precise amounts because it doesn't have to be precise. You know, it's about now. See, you still got your colors. You still got your greens, reds, orange, browns, yellows. <coughs> very nice and our uh, mm, our peppers are not soggy but they're not crunchy either so okay now we're gonna dish some of this up and as always we'll get monkey to be our guinea pig and she'll try it and I'll try it with her We'll be right back with you. Okay, guys, again, um, last time we made this, we used wraps, huh? Yeah, we did. And then I made, no, we used the chicken for the wraps. Right. I made it with chicken. and the, But the last time I made the beef, I put some on skewers. Yeah. So if you're going to do that, <coughs> excuse me, you're going to want to cut your, like, onions into squares or whatever, you know, big enough to put on a skewer. These were just diced, other than the uh, peppers. I just went ahead and kind of cut them up screened. Right. But um, this is what what it looks like here. All right. And we're going to give this a shot. I'm going to try to get a, a taste of everything in here. Okay. All right, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Two thumbs up. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. The roast has a good flavor, but here lately the roasts have been kind of tough. Yeah. We don't know why. Because we always used to get so, such good roasts that would like just melt away. Yeah. This one's kind of tough. A little bit. A little but bit. But it's very good. But it's not. If you're running that problem, um, really to me, there's only two things that can cause that is not a good cut of beef, you know, not a good cut of meat, or you overcooked it. This is not overcooked, cooked, but mm -hmm. it's still got a little pink in the middle, so I'm guessing it's just roast. But it has a great flavor. Mm -hmm. What do you think, good. Mama? Very excellent. Very excellent. <laughs> All right, so we got some there, mm -hmm. some leftover, and so this, I would say that's another portion. I would say this, this bowl is probably three cups mm -hmm. in each bowl. Yeah. I would say this is a four-person meal here with approximately three cups per serving. Right. Right in that area. Maybe two cups. We'll just say two cups. Yeah. Um, and again, like if you put it, uh, 
like she didn't have any rice, she wanted to have rice. So, yeah. you know, like you make rice, put it on, on top okay. of rice. Yeah, that would make a very good meal. Yeah, and also like, especially if you use the skewers mm -hmm. to make shish kebab, put that on rice. Um, or if you put, uh, like if you put it in wraps, you know, that's more filling. But this, right. I'm telling you, this is hard, you guys. This this would, would fill you up, especially with the rice, but she didn't have any, so. No. But, um, so what do you guys think? Uh, let me, let me know in the comments section um, about the walk Wednesdays. Every Wednesday yeah. we'll do a walk. That would be fun. Yeah, we'll do a walk cooking episode mm -hmm. and maybe we'll do it in its own playlist. Okay. And walk, a, walk a life Wednesdays or something. But anyway, definitely a walk Wednesday. Right. We'll just do different, we'll, we'll not, what we'll do is not do something elaborate like they do in restaurants because the majority of us, nine times out of ten, are just guys like us. It's just like to cook or throw together something. So, and if you're a chef, well, more power to you, but we're, I'm not a real chef, but I do like to cook. So we'll just do basic stuff. That way you at home can do it, right? That way you're not, you know, all this fancy stuff that we've been watching like on YouTube, get some recipe ideas in it. And it's like, man, we can't even get that stuff around here, you know? And it's like, takes forever and it's real hard to remember and you gotta be precise on this but don't but put more of this in but not not too much of this and I like to like like we'll, we'll do a vegetable stir fry and we'll do chicken and um, so you know, something else you can put with this what? noodles yes we're, 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 uh, we'll do a noodle one I was thinking yeah. about that tonight but we didn't have any um, so oh. we'll do a noodle one also you know stay tuned uh, we did one but I got to get back on track with my with my soups. I'm missing them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I need to get. I have them. Done. Yeah. They weren't stolen. No. But I'm missing doing them because I really love them things. So far, there hasn't been one I didn't like. Right. Just some that I like more than others. Um. So yeah, let me know if you want to do that because you know once a week we'll just every Wednesday we'll yeah. not it, not on the on the nose but you know Pretty as many Wednesdays yeah because I mean I'm usually cook Wednesday anyhow mm -hmm. unless if we're tired or I don't feel well she'll order something or you know yeah, yeah. Or we'll just throw something in the oven but other than that yeah we'll just kind of kind of try to make a playlist of walk Wednesdays and we'll just do stuff in the walk that normal everyday people can do right you know right. this is not a Chinese restaurant <laughs> yeah um like I said we'll do a shrimp chicken. one for me Ooh. yeah we'll do a shrimp mm -hmm. for her mm -hmm. Um, we'll do fish. Yeah. We'll do the fish and walk and then put it in wraps. Oh, fish tacos, fun. remember yeah. we had those. Mm -hmm. uh, we had uh, mahi mahi. Yeah, that was they good. They were very good. Mm -hmm. Also, I found, it's not too far from here, I finally found a butcher so we get better cuts of meats. Oh, you did? Yes, I did. Mm. They have frog legs. Ugh. I know, but I'll do them. <laughs> like, I'll do those camping, you know what I mean? Yeah, it'd be fun. They have gator they have bison they have deer they have elk they have gator. caribou and you can do gator in there. yeah we can do gator yeah because she, she loves gator <laughs> all right guys so thanks for watching i really appreciate it thanks again to brian and marla for sending me that walk oh, i love it, it yeah like i said i've used it three times and yeah mm -hmm. it's definitely going to get its use oh yeah definitely and this thing is just so easy she just kind of washes it out with water yeah. And sets it on a on a warm burner and dries out. Boom. It's perfect. No. Nope. It's awesome. So thanks again, guys. And thanks to the rest of you for watching. Appreciate it. We're going to enjoy our dinner. Yep. And I'm going to go ahead and cook up that uh, that fat over there. I was going to give it to Bruno, but I don't know. He was bad. I'm trying to keep him from barking whenever, you know. If, if, if the doorbell goes off, he's going nuts. Ugh. It's getting worse. He, yeah, he never, better. Used, he he never used, used to, to do be that, really so. good. Yeah. So. But. I don't like it. Yeah, I know. A lot of people go, a dog's bark. That's what they do. No. Not all of them. Mm -hmm. um, but when you tell him, stop or, hey, hey, he should, he should quit barking and he doesn't. So, yeah. kind of letting his leash get a little long there. So, I'm going to have to pull him back a little bit. <laughs> so, sorry about that interruption. Yeah. But, uh, again, what do you think, Monk? 
Very good. This recipe, did like I said, real. As usual. Um, you know, meat's not cheap, I understand that. But, no. you know, if you can feed four people on this, right. that's pretty cheap, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, what'd you give for that, Rose? You remember about? I think it was like 17 95 17 like bucks. But like I said, you can also get the beef tips. There's nothing wrong with that. And I think they were just as good as this. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. I think the beef tips were, that's what I used last time was the, was the beef tips. And I right. think they were every bit as good as this. Mm-hmm. I do too. You know? And they're already cut up. So. Yeah. And you can get smaller packages, you know, so, right. you know, substitute, <coughs> substitute, subtract, whatever. You right. Know. Um, all right, guys. So, Shea Bear, Myth, the Man, Legend, Golf Now, Monkey. Mike Anything you want to add? Nope. nope. I'm happy. I want to go eat. <laughs> like, Ready to go eat now. Okay. Let's go eat now. <laughs> okay. Monkey Sushi's out. Bye, y'all. Gotta eat. Bye, guys. Enjoy the rest of your week, and y'all be safe and take care.